Hi everyone. Hello and happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are doing really, really well since I saw you last in Wednesday's Dollar Tree haul. I do want to start off before we even start with the Dollar Tree haul. The announcement that I made in my Happy Mail opening that was posted yesterday. So while I am growing in my YouTube journey here with you guys, I also watch my analytics and how my channel grows and flows. So I have decided in the last couple of days that I am going to keep this channel, Crazy Days of Callan, all Dollar Tree based. So I will continue to post my Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. I'm also going to keep my happy mail opening videos, friend mail opening videos on this channel. And um, usually that comes with like chat with me time, you know, where we're just kind of sitting around as friends, opening a happy mail, opening a friend mail and, and just, you know, chatting and connecting and having a fun time making a video with me speaking to my family here on YouTube and my friends. And then also on this channel might be possible walk with me through the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to make sure that I was really clear about this because I had a couple of people that watched the Happy Meal opening yesterday and were like, oh no, I don't have an Instagram to be able to keep up with, you know, your traveling things and, you know, vlogs that you put together or sharing pictures of your personal life. I don't have an Instagram to see that stuff. So <clears throat> I didn't announce that particular part in yesterday's video, but I will say it now that I did say on the Happy Mail opening that if you want to see my um, traveling and my my daily like adventures and things I just like to bring to you guys to share with me to check out my Instagram because I'm going to keep that updated with that type of stuff. And, but I also had the thought that I was going to start a completely different channel here on YouTube that was just solely pertaining to my vlogs, which I definitely want to still do because I really, really, really enjoy putting together the vlogs of like my traveling and my family time and day trips and vacations and places that we go. And just, I love taking you guys with me. And I know that not a lot of people watch those nearly as much as uh, my Dollar Tree hauls, but I still like to make that connection with you guys and share those moments and those times and those places with you guys that live all over the place that don't have the opportunity to come over in my neck of the woods and see those type of things. So I definitely still want to make the vlogs for you. So as a um, intermittent re resolution for that, I instantly said, okay, just watch my Instagram so that you can see all those things continue because I'm going to stop posting them here on Crazy Days of Callan. But... I already had thought about making a completely different channel here on YouTube so that I would have that outlet still to catalog those special memories that are being made with my family and also to share it with you guys that I love so very much and I want to just take with me everywhere all of the time. So just know that Instagram is only a, like a timeout moment for my vlogs and for any of that type of just like daily living, adventures, things like that. Instagram is only a temporary resolution for me to continue sharing that stuff with you until I come up with a new channel name for my vlogs only. But this channel, Crazy Days of Callan, is here. It's staying. It's all going to be Dollar Tree. And that's what we're going to stick with. So maybe another two to three weeks in one of my Dollar Tree haul videos, I will announce when I have come up with my new channel name that is solely pertaining to my vlogs. So that's it. So it's just a little time out. Follow me on Instagram. It is Crazy Days of Callan. I love you, Isaiah. Um, it is Crazy Days of Callan over on Instagram as well. So if you do have Instagram, follow me over there so that we can still party it up over there and you can see all of my adventures and things until I get my new vlog channel up and running here on YouTube and I have time for that. 
and then I will share my videos with you there that are my my time to spend with you traveling and doing fun things so that's it we're here we're here to stay crazy days of Callan all Dollar Tree all Dollar Tree now let's get into the Dollar Tree how about that one I love you guys and um I just thank you so much for being here with me for all of the interaction you guys mean so much to me I love doing this this is like just this is so important to me and I love it so much I love my Dollar Trees I love to vlog for you guys I'm just kind of separating the two so that I have a very specific audience for one and a very specific audience for another one so that's it now come on let's go I got some cute stuff and I'm really really excited so um hello look at these how beautiful is that leathery pink top knot headband it is absolutely gorgeous and I was more than thrilled when I found it. Then I found the black one tucked down on another tier and I was just as excited and happy. And that is just absolutely, these are fantastic for $1. That's incredible. So I got those two right there. Then I also picked up these beautiful clips that I found that I've never seen before. Check them out. And this one has six pieces in there. And I absolutely love the gold um, crusted encrusted ones right there. Oh, they are just so cute. I like to like pin up my sides and make like cuts in my um, and how I pull up my hair and then right here these are like the roses and these are like bobby pin style so I was more than excited to find both sets of those right there I also found this most glorious beautiful amazing bow and that is gonna look so so cute in my hair when I do it in a really high ponytail and then I clip that bow on there that is so pretty I love it and they did have a black option and they also had another color and I'm trying to think I think it was like a tan um but I needed the leopard one I had to have this leopard one that is just the hair accessory aisle was off the chain and I was so excited and then I picked up these elastics right here and they are nice thick quality and my hair is super thick and long so I need like a really good elastic band. There are nine in the styling set right here and I love all of the colors. They are so so pretty. And then I found this beautiful pearl headband and this one is so dressy looking and nice. And all of the pearls are just, they're double stacked. And I just think that they are gorgeous. So I picked up that headband and I was like, I was like jumping for joy in the hair accessory aisle. I was so, so excited. Now I also found brand new masks from this brand called Found. And this is the Aloe After Sun Sheet Mask. Cools and refreshes skin after sun exposure. 94% natural. And so I have never heard or seen of this mask before. But I picked up quite a few of them. Because we like to go to the beach. And you know get tanned in the summertime and stuff. Um, and sometimes it can get a little out of control. So to come home to a nice sheet mask. I wanted to keep some on hand for next summer and so I picked up um, like five of them and then I picked up this one from the same brand and this is a neck mask and this is chamomile neck sheet mask it reduces the look of fine lines wrinkles increasing on the neck area so I picked up that one to try and I I'm, I'm like, yes, I love these new masks. They are so much fun. Then I also grabbed this Nobleman brand. And as I told you a couple of hauls ago, they get in name brand stuff all the time. 
And so I never understand why people don't at least venture to the Dollar Tree local to them to just see what they have before they go to Walmart, before they go to Target and things like that. And you can pick up things that cost way more than a dollar outside of the Dollar Tree just for a dollar. So for Christmas, I make the guys two, you know, baskets each with usually all of their skincare products, their dental care products, their hygiene products. And it's like a manscaping Christmas basket. I make it for them every year. So this Nobleman brand is a brand that is well known out in other stores and it goes for way more than a dollar, even in these smaller tubes. So this is the Renewing Exfoliating Facial Scrub with Hyaluronic Acid and Tea Tree. And um, so this is not a huge, it's not a huge um, tube. It's 17 ounces, but even just this tube I found for like $5 when I researched it. So because it's the Nobleman brand and then they have so many different Nobleman products you can make like an all nobleman basket for somebody for a gift and it's going to be fantastic and it's all like pertaining to each other. This right here is the nobleman um, peel off black mask with mask applicator 30 minute facial therapy. <coughs> I'm sorry guys I'm still struggling with sickness. Um, so there is that and it comes in that little tub right there. So all of these things I got two each so that I have one for my husband and my son. And then this one as well, the Nobleman brand. This is no um, retinol eye serum um, with peptides for all skin types. So I picked that up right there. And even just these three things, which I have so many other Nobleman products in the bathroom that, that you know, that go with this type of line. And if I had bought them all together and just saved them, I could have made a whole little nobleman set and given it to my son, you know, for his birthday, even if I, I hadn't given him those other products first. So those are those three things right there. And each one of those go for five and up, even for those size tubes. So I think that that is pretty unbelievable and I'm excited about it. Then I found, okay, I found the flower brand right here. And this is Galaxy Glaze um, Holographic Lip Gloss. Oh my goodness. This was like $9, the one that I looked up. And how pretty is the shimmer in there? Absolutely gorgeous. And Drew Barrymore is the one that has this line. And I just love Drew Barrymore. Um, and then this is right here is from the flower brand as well flowerbeauty.com and this right here is the brow taming wax brow powder brow uh another looking brow powder and um so there's three different brow powders and there's a brow brow taming wax with a little applicator in there and then this thing I found for the lowest cost, like $7. So I got that little palette right there. Sorry. <coughs> it's like I get winded, you know, when I talk a lot and quickly. Um, so I just got to like slow my roll, girl. Slow your roll. Um, and then this is Elf. And this is Stardust Glitter Cosmic Silver. And that little tub right there, I'm going to smear all over my eyes and make me all kinds of fancy during the Halloween dress up festivities. So I picked that up and that is the number on it right there. <coughs> so I picked this up and I can't remember. I think this one I found the lowest cost for like $4 when I looked it up. And how pretty is that? And all of these were at the Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then this one's a hard candy. And this is um lip oil. And it's Blooming Lip Oil Instant Hydration Wet Shine Gloss Finish. And it's the co color Coral. So how stunning. And there's the number to it. And look at the packaging and the little lip gloss inside. 
start there, find something that is like this and then build a whole makeup care basket and gift it to somebody special for you from the Dollar Tree. All of those, I mean, I did a haul months and months and months ago that was like 20 products of all hard candy that totaled like $240 if it had been bought outside of the Dollar Tree. And I got 20 things for $20, but otherwise would have paid $240, which honestly I would have never paid because I'm super cheap and <laughs> I shop at the Dollar Tree. And I've honestly even stopped going to thrift stores um, and picking up too much because I normally would always pick up other things at like thrift stores for like miscellaneous items if I needed things for the house or if I needed like clothing updates and stuff I find that the thrift stores like especially like Savers, Goodwill, the Salvation Army like they have skyrocketed their prices that I look at their their secondhand stuff and I'm like I could go to Walmart right now on the clearance rack and find something for like three dollars and you're charging me for this shirt right here like $8.99 at a thrift store and somebody's worn it it's been washed there's little pilly things on it but you're still charging me $8.99 and I can go get a brand new shirt that nobody's ever worn before on clearance for three dollars like I don't know what's going on at the thrift stores I know everybody's trying to make their money back after nobody shopped for so long but the thrift stores have, I think they've lost it a little bit. They've lost their mind <laughs> and I'm not about the thrift stores right now, which makes me sad because I love thrifting and I love antiquing, but I am not paying that much for anything that, you know, is secondhand when I can go get it for way less and it's brand new. So that's that. Anyways, look at this. Oh my goodness. I found the sticker sheet a while ago with this cute little muffin on it and then I found the notebook. I was so excited. It says you need to chill. <laughs> How cute is that? It says hot coffee and yes you are right. I need to chill out. But then look at the pages inside. Look at the bubbles all over it and then it even comes with like a little sticker sheet on the inside of the cover. <coughs> I'm so sorry guys um so there is that cute notebook right there and then I picked up this sketch pad because I've told you before my son loves to draw but so does his girlfriend as well and this is such a great sketch pad there's 30 sheets in here they're 10 by 8 inches and um it's just a beautiful beautiful um bound sketchbook so with some really nice pencils from the dollar tree a nice set of mechanical pencils like make a whole drawing basket if somebody that you love is into art and sketching and things like that you ha you can make baskets for days at the dollar tree with so many different op options to like put things together but look at these pens but look at these pens oh my christmas Look at this. It is so beautiful. Look at how beautiful these are. I was so excited. So I picked up this one because you can't get a new notebook and not get new novelty pens. I mean, come on. You have to have them hand in hand. They're so pretty. <laughs> then I picked up this one right here, which is a nice little crown with the pom-pom. How cute is that? <coughs> and then... The purple one, which is definitely my favorite because purple is my favorite color. And oh my goodness, look at those stars in there. Absolutely beautiful. And then this one has a little cloud on it. How cute. The little cloud at the top with the pom-pom and the pen. So there was four brand new novelty pens that I can doodle around on my brand new little notebook um, that says you need to chill and I can write my lists and I can write my bucket lists of places that I want to go, things I want to see, stuff I want to do. Um, I just love my notebooks and my pens. Then I showed you in the last couple of hauls that I picked up this hand sanitizer and I went back and I snatched up more because these are so 
unbelievably good. I had said too, how great would these be for stocking stuffers? These are perfect. They smell incredible. This pomegranate and vanilla, the um, cucumber and melon and the coconut and lime. And these smell unbelievable. They are such a great sanitizer and they are antibacterial hand gel. <coughs> so that's what those are right there. So I had to go snatch up some, some more because the scent after you rub it in stays on your hand and it smells very perfumey and I enjoyed it very much having it on my hands that I used up one of them already in like two days and I'm not mad because I smelled really good after. Um, and then I got some new material and I just had to. These have little rocket ships all over them. Let me just open it for you. Um, I love this Crafters Square material that they come out with. I make Mickey Mouse ears with it for all my Disney trips that I have gone on and plan on still going on. So that material has rockets all over it and I think it's absolutely the cutest. And the material comes in um, a 20 by 21 inch piece of fabric. Then this one right here that was all purple was like sticking right out at me and I was so excited to pick it up. And this has sloths all over it. Oh my dear. Will you look at those sloths in all purple? How cute with the green vines really making it stand out. So uh, two really, really cute pieces of fabric that I just absolutely had to have. Now I picked up some socks. Oh yes, ma'am. I picked up some socks. These ones I will show you first because these I only bought as um to make the body of some gnomes and where it's like a taupey tan um color to it it's good as a skin tone so i picked up just one pair because one sock each will make two different gnomes so i grabbed those and they are fruit of the loom socks so i grabbed just one pair so i can make another set of gnomes then I picked up these babies right here and there's a two pack of this one and I absolutely love the llamas on it and I love the maroon color. Then the other side is striped with all those fall colors inside and this is a women's um, 6 to 12 shoe. So there is that set of socks. That's $2. I mean two pairs for $1. Then I picked up this right there. It says Boss Lady. And this is this pair on this side. And then we have the fluorescent pair on the other side. So there's two in here as well for $1. And I love those. And they feel so soft and nice. I love them. <laughs> now I also picked up these. And these are definitely my favorite look at that giraffe right there i am so impartial to giraffes i absolutely love them my son was born on october 13th of 2003 and i took him home in a giraffe costume to his giraffe themed bedroom that i did his whole nursery in. so i've loved giraffes for 18 years and i saw that little face and i just had to snatch them up this is a women's five to nine for this pair right here. And I think that they're terribly cute. Then I grabbed this one right there. And that I think is like a toucan I would say. And again these are women's 5 to 9. And I think he's very hunkalicious. I think he's adorable. And then this one right here is just so cute. They had so many different animal options. I was wicked excited to see all of the different variation of options that they had in those fun patterns and I just love them. Then here are my fuzzies. Here are my fall fu <laughs> Here are my fall fuzzies. Oh my god, and will you look at that color right there? Let's just start with this color. Look at that. Oh my heavens, that is such a beautiful beautiful fall color I want my tights on I want to pull my socks up put my slides on and head out to the Dollar Tree 
I would be so warm, cozy, and toasty. And these are us. Uh, women's and oh no they just say adult and it says one size so I got this pair then I got the blue pair with the grayish in the toesies so I picked those up and then I got the gray ones oh that one's got a little fray going on I'm gonna have to cut it because I don't want to pull it and then it will start to unravel so I'll have to get rid of that after so then I got the gray ones. So now I have even more socks than I already had, which is like holy Toledo. I got a lot of socks, girl. I got a lot of socks. Now let me just reach really quick. My leg is falling asleep. I'm going to have to move for a second. Um, okay. So really quick. I forgot some headbands. I grabbed these. I grabbed this headband right there. And how beautiful is that pattern on there? It's absolutely so, so pretty. I love all the flowers. And you know I love the top knot. And they also had a scrunchie in this same exact pattern that goes with this headband. But I didn't want the scrunchie. I just needed the headband. Then the same thing with this one. It also had the scrunchie that goes with it. And there are the colors in this one. How absolutely beautiful is that? Absolutely fantastic then I picked up this comb right here and this is a microfiber scrunchie and comb set and I thought how cool is that it is a whole beautiful comb that you can like hang over your shower curtain um little rod so that you have your comb right in the shower with you and this scrunchie is just perfect to like Hold your hair back while you're washing your face and all that stuff. So I think that this is really cool. I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree. So I was happy to see it and pick it up. And this hopefully will work really well in my really super long hair that I still don't know what I'm going to do with because I get sad when I think about hacking it off. And then I get sad when I think about it always being up in a bun because I can't deal with it. And then I get sad about it because when I put it down, then I feel like, oh, I should wear my hair down more because I got really long hair and I should like whip it around more. But then I'm like, nope, it's going back up in a bun and I'm still going to hack it off. So, um, I still don't know what I'm doing. But I guess we're going to have to work on that too. We got a lot of things going on over here, guys, in the crazy world of Callan. Um, so that's that. But I love that comb and that scrunchie set. I also found this right here. And this is Airheads. And there's a two-pack of chapstick in there, which I think is really awesome. And it's green and red. So it's perfect for a Christmas stocking stuffer, I think. So I picked that up for my son's stocking for Christmas. Then I picked up this little squirrel nutly. Oh my goodness. And he came from the toy section of the doggy wear um, aisle. And I'm not going to give him to my dog because she's not playful like that. She doesn't like toys. She never has. Um, she just, she's not about it. And I'm going to use him to decorate for Thanksgiving and for the fall months after all of my Halloween stuff is down. I had to have this baby. How cute is that squirrel? He's adorable. Look at that fluffy tail. And you know I love animals. So I'm going to put him in my Thanksgiving scenery. And he, I'm probably stick like an acorn next to him. I'm just going to, I'm going to do something cute with him. He's just too cute to leave behind. Now, I found, okay, I have to fess up. Today was my girl day with me time to celebrate that I was a great mom. And I still am a great mom. But this whole week was my son's 18th birthday celebration. And so I had the whole entire week off of work. I took a vacation from work um, completely, like, off the whole week. And every single day I've celebrated something different with a different member of my family for helping me through the process of being there as a Nana, for being there as my husband and the father to my son. I've celebrated everybody in their own way, what they, um, you know, who they were to my son and how they raised him up. We, it takes a village it takes a village and my whole village needed to get celebrated this week as well as my 18 year old son. So today was about me. 
Today was me time. Today was me celebrating myself by myself. I love me time. I love to jam out. I am, I am perfectly happy when I am alone. I enjoy my own company and I worked really hard on that for a long time, but I really love it. So I left this morning bright and early. I did my happy mail opening with you guys. And then I went about the rest of my day just enjoying the world and what I like to do for me, thinking my own thoughts, jamming out to my music. And I grabbed these maple cream cookies. Yes, I did. And I opened them and I ate half of them. And I'm not gonna lie about it because I enjoyed every second of it with my coffee. <laughs> And I'm telling you right now that these are wicked good and these are really fun to put out for a little bowl during Thanksgiving for people to nibble on. These cookies are so good and when you open that box and you smell that maple, you are going, going to drool. You're going to drool and then you're going to run to the store and pick up more. But I am going to stop myself because I got to put these away now because even looking at them is making me want them. Then I picked up this right here, and this is regular mini toast, and I had to have it. Pr probably because they were cute is what drew, drew me to them, that they were mini toast, and I thought that they were just adorable, but I bought some hummus, and to scoop some hummus on these little mini toasts, um, that sounds like a fun time too. That sounds like a fun time that I would much enjoy, and so that is what I did. <laughs> Um, and then I spotted these most beautiful, these are a, like a thicker plastic, but I think that they are so beautiful. I love the pink color of them and I love the vibrant green leaves. I know it looks very fake. There is nothing real about it looking, but I can pluck off these little flowers and use them for embellishments. Um, on anything that I craft that I want to doll them up with these beautiful flowers and leaves and stems. And so they had quite a few little options of different colored little tiny mini roses, but I needed to pick this one up because it just made me happy. So I had to grab it and I'm going to put it in my flower stash and use it on up. I'm going to use it on up. Then I picked out, and I'm going to let this video go to 35 minutes because I only got a couple more things and I don't want to save it. I want to show it to you because I want to be here with you and that's what I want to do. So hopefully you're okay with that. Um, and then I picked up this little guy right here and it says, welcome, welcome to my Hacienda. I love it. It's gorgeous. And that little face right there is so cute. They had them in a couple of different color options um, for this welcome area and for the hat and the little ruffle around his neck. But I liked the green one. I thought it really stood out and I thought he was really sweet. It does come with a little string to hang him. So I picked him up because he just made me happy. And then I picked up my fall cup. I picked up my Thanksgiving fall cup. I have my Halloween cups, so I needed my fall leaf cup and I love that color green I love that color green so that super drew me to it so I picked up this uh coffee mug right here and I think it's just perfect to tote around with for the fall months and especially after Thanksgiving is over and the next day is Black Friday and the weekend of traveling is Black Friday I'm gonna hold my cup I'm gonna hold it I'm going to hold it with my, with my, um, coffee in it. And then I'm going to put on my pom-pom hat and, um, look at these two paired together. Talk about a fall basket. How cute would that be? Because this burnt orange, um, cap is the cutest cap I've ever seen the Dollar Tree come up with. And I love the pom-pom and these two paired together. Uh, yeah. I want them and I have them and so I needed them I needed them and they made me happy and I'm gonna look so cute while I'm Black Friday shopping with my husband what we do every year and go find deals and steals and have fun but they had quite a few pom-pom hats that I was really impressed with and excited by so 
that is that. And now that is all for this Dollar Tree haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I love you guys so much. I hope you guys stay happy, healthy, safe, strong, loved, blessed, kind to one another. And just have a good day. And also when I started my day and I went for my coffee in the morning, I decided to pay for the car behind me because that's how I wanted to start my day. Good vibes. Good vibes. I let, I let that little boy in the passenger seat know that there are kind people out here in the world that don't just think about themselves and I'm gonna buy you breakfast and your mom that coffee that she probably deserves and needs very much just like me so that's how I started my day this morning and um and it's been a great day and ending it on this note makes me happy as can be I love you guys so much thank you for being here with me thank you for being a part of crazy days of Callan and hopefully you will want to be a part of my vlog channel that I come up with in the next couple of weeks and announce to you guys so that you can be a part of all of my journeys and all of my travels and all my road trips and day trips and what have you and you can be a part of that as well once I figure out that adventure so that's it. I love you guys so much. Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. And I will see you on Monday's Dollar Tree Haul. I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed, amazing, magical, loving, happy, fantastic weekend. And I will see you then. Bye, everyone. Love you.